Guys, welcome back. For me, organization is all about saving as much time as possible. It's about allowing me to be extra lazy. And there is one way, one small thing that you can do just once a week that will save you a ton of time and money. And that is menu planning. Now before you groan and shut off this video, please bear with me. I promise you this is life changing. It's a small thing that you can do that can make a huge impact in your week. So I want you to give it a try for just a week. I want you to try menu planning for one week. And I'm going to share with you some awesome DIYs. You don't have to be crafty. All you need is a picture frame from the dollar store or one you already have laying around your house. So let's get started right now. Let's go ahead and start with my favorite menu planner and it's this one and the reason I love it so much is these little cards. I think the hardest part for me for meal planning is coming up with the ideas. So these are all my favorite meals here ready for me to choose from. And this is a printable that you can personalize with your own family's name and I'm going to put the link to this below. It's a free printable as part of the menu planning printable pack. And I just stuck that in a dollar store picture frame that I had painted earlier. Also included in the principal pack are all of my favorite meals in label format that I'm peeling off and sticking on these dollar store tags, basically because I was too lazy to cut the paper up. You can either use the meals that I've provided on the principal or you can make your own list of favorite meals. I'm also using these dollar store little clothes pegs here. They're so adorable. Um, any size I think will do. I'm just using a little bit of hot glue to go ahead and attach them to the glass. The nice thing is you can peel these off again and it won't wreck or damage the picture frame, but this is how I'm going to hold on to the little cards. And that's it. You go through the cards, you choose what you want to have that week for dinner, and you just pin them up there, put them up there with the clothes peg. This little bucket I got from the dollar store, I distressed that a little bit as well, and that's all it takes to have an adorable and really functional menu planner. The nice thing is the kids in your family can help you choose the meals for the week, and they can each pick one that they can cook themselves. If you have age-appropriate, like older children, they can choose one meal a week to cook from the bucket. So I love this planner, but let's go ahead and take a look at one that's a little less DIY. So this is another printable that's available in the printable pack. Again, it's free. I'm going to put the link below. And this is so simple. All you need is a picture frame. So go ahead and this is just a, a picture frame from the dollar store that I am reusing. And I'm going ahead and putting the printable in it. And then the reason you want to put it in the picture frame is so you can use a dry erase marker to write the meals for the week. And it's so simple to wipe off, change anything if you're having a last minute change or to refill it out the following week. Now the kids never have to ask what's for dinner. You can always have a visual reminder of what you need to take out to defrost in the morning or whatever it is. And it's functional and pretty adorable too. This is another option. You can have a meal planning sheet that includes the shopping list. And again, this is a printable that's free in the printable pack. I'll put the link below. But I love this because you can fill it out and take it with you to the grocery store to really help with your shopping. And all of the printables you see here are free. And I'm going to put the link to all of those below. So thanks so much for watching. And for more quick organizing tips, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos each and every week. We'll see you next time. This is usually the part where I say thanks for staying to the end and I go off on some crazy rant. My husband was eavesdropping while I was editing my rant and he thought it was inappropriate. And yeah, so instead, adorable kittens. I didn't think it was that inappropriate, but he made sort of this face and was like, you are not uploading that to YouTube, which made me have this face because I'm tired and I don't want to have to re-edit and refilm anything. So I was like, what can I do instead? Adorable kittens and a dog. Who doesn't love adorable kittens, right? Am I right? No, I promise. I promise next time I will have a more appropriate rant for you guys, but I do have something to share really quick. There is only five days left to fill out the form. So if you have ordered the book or pre-ordered the book or even bought it in store, 
You only have five days left to fill out the form. You have to fill out the form to be entered to win the Roomba and all the other good stuff. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time.